thank you for joining us again. We are continuing with the topic called probability. We have already introduced what probability is, and in this session, I wanted us to check what we call mutually exclusive events. Uh, when we say an event with another are mutually exclusive, we mean that the occurrence of one excludes the occurrence of the other. The occurrence of one excludes excludes the occurrence of the other. So if event B and A are mutually exclusive, then it means the occurrence of one excludes the occurrence of the other. In other words, it is either B or A to occur. Let's say, for example, the probability that a student will pass in a given exam, probability that a student will pass is 4 out of 5. It means the probability the probability that the same same student will fail is equal to 1 out of 5. We have only 4 chances out of 5 that the student will pass, which means that the student will fail is 1 out of 5. These are called exclusive events because once the probability that the student passes occurs, or I mean, if one event occurs that is passing, probability that the same same student will fail becomes zero because the student cannot fail and the pass at the same time. So one has to excuse the other. And in such events, we usually say the probability of A or B occurring means probability of A plus the probability of B. And in most cases, when they are mutually exclusive, the probability of one occurring plus the probability of the other should give us one. They should total to the total probability, which is one. Because if we say a student will pass, the only other opinion can be failing. You can draw an exam. You can either pass or fail. Therefore, we say that uh, the probabilities of two events which are mutually exclusive uh, give us what we call the, the addition law. Addition law of probability. Addition law of probability, which states that the probability, the probability of mutually exclusive events is the sum of the individual 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 probabilities sum individual probabilities so that is what we call mutually exclusive events let's give this let's take an example bag contains five red balls and three green balls. Find the probability of picking
possibility of picking a red ball and uh, to find the possibility of picking a red ends. Okay, we can first of all solve a red and ball, a red ball, so that we may understand mutually exclusive. If we pick a red, we cannot pick a green one. Therefore, we are saying probability that the ball is going to be red is going to be we have five possible outcomes because red balls are five out of a total of eight balls inside the bag. Therefore, probability probability that we will pick red will be five because the Preferred outcomes are only of the total trials, which are eight. Therefore, that is how we get the probability of picking red. Thank you for following. Kindly subscribe to Shifting Grades and share the link.